So it says a population of 752,000 decreases 1.4% per year for 18 years. So if you guys remember in your, when we first did this, I basically provide you guys with two formulas. First form was our exponential form, and the next one was our modeling format, our modeling equation. So in this equation, a of t equals a times 1 plus r raised to the t. So all we want to do, in your notes, we went over what does a represent, what does you know, um, a of t represent, what is r, what is t. All we simply need to do is know what, um, know what those values are, plug them in, and then evaluate. So remember, a of t represented the amount after the t, t number of time periods. Well, if you guys look at this problem, it says, find the amount after the specified time. So are we, do we have a value, or is that what we're looking for? A of t is what we are looking for. So I'll just kind of put a little question mark. That's what we're going to solve for. A represents the initial amount. Well, it says a population of 752,000. Well, that's going to be your initial amount. Um, it says your rate is going to be 1.4%. Please remember rates. We're always dealing with rates as far as decimals. So 1.4% is 0 0.017. I'm sorry, 4. 0.014%. And then t equals 18 years. Does everybody see that? Now we just plugged it in, in their information. So we have a of t equals 752,000 times 1 plus 0 0.014 raised to the 18th power. Okay. Now, when we go ahead and simplify this, yep. Where? Oh, it's decreases. You're right. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. I didn't. I should have actually. Well, here's one of the things I was going to go to. Once you guys get to this point, once you guys get to this point. You guys can see that it says decreases, right? So anyways, this is decreases. So in reality, is my rate, if remember, remember when the exponential graphs, if b was greater than 1, it was a growth, right? If b was less than 1, then it was a decay, right? Well, here, if I add 0 0.104, I have 1.014. Is that greater than 1? Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be a growth. That means the population would be increasing. So we need to represent this as? decreasing. So I'm actually going to subtract this. So 1 minus 0 0.04 is going to be 0.986. Yes? Yeah. OK. So now all you simply do is go ahead and take. Now remember, you need to follow your order of operations. So when you're doing this, you've got to do the exponent first. I still have people that multiply my decimal times 75,000. So do, I'm going to do 0 0.986, raise it to the 18th power, and I get this big decimal, 0 0.77. Now, rather than rewriting that down, I'm going to use my answer feature in my calculator. And I'm just going to do 75,000 times my last answer, which is like the answer button in my calculator, rather than retyping it all. And I get 5,000 or 58,189. Now it says 0.64, but obviously we're talking about a population, so it's probably like animals or humans or something like that, right? So I'm not. So I'm just going to round this. Um, I'm just going to round it down. I'm not going to round it up. So therefore, that would be my new population. Does that make sense? My original population was 700. Um, wait. 75,000, right? Oh, I, where did I get seventy-five dollars? I just and well, anyways, let's. Okay, so anyways, I made a mistake, right? But again, let's think about this. So anyways, if I said the original population is seven hundred fifty-two thousand, and now it goes down to fifty-eight thousand, that is a dramatic drop, right? Does that really even make sense? If it's only decreasing one point four percent, think about that. One point one percent of a hundred dollars is one dollar, right? So if you decrease 1% of $100, that's $1 you're decreasing. So that's a huge gap, even for 18 years, right? So that doesn't really make sense to this problem. So therefore, yes, obviously you guys get to watch me make a mistake. But to me, I'm saying, oh, that didn't make a mistake. I made a mistake somewhere. And yeah, for some reason, I forgot to write 252,000 there. So let's redo that problem. So I do 0.98 raised to the 18th power. 
0.986 raised to the 18th power times 752,000. Now I get 583,000. 448. Does that seem a little bit more reasonable? Yes, it does. Okay. Anybody have any questions on that? Yes. 